Hello, my name is Cynthia Webster, and today I'll be presenting a eukaryotic genome annotation tool called EASL. So what is genome annotation? Well, a genome assembly on its own isn't as meaningful as you might think. We see thousands of nucleotides, but what does this mean? Structural annotation helps create a blueprint for a genome. In other words, it's identifying essential features for protein coding genes which can be represented by this general feature format. Knowing the coordinates of each gene, you can then attach biological information with BLAST and publicly available databases. This is called functional annotation. Unfortunately, many assembled genomes lack a high quality annotation, primarily because most pipelines that exist focus on benchmarking smaller genomes that may not represent more complex members in a clade. Furthermore, there is no consensus on metrics. Busco score, for example, is not enough to assess annotation quality and often overlooks issues of fragmentation. Finally, most existing pipelines require significant post-processing and filtering in order to generate the highest quality annotation, especially for larger, more complex genomes, which often exhibit an inflated number of false positive genes. Here we present EASL, a eukaryotic genome annotation tool that leverages machine learning, RNA folding, and functional annotations to enhance gene prediction accuracy. EASL is wrapped in NextFlow for user ease and faster runtimes. The EASL pipeline is quite complex, but can be split into four categories, evidence generation, gene prediction, feature filtering, and evaluation. Only two inputs are required, short RNA reads, and a soft mesh genome. From there, EASL will trim the provided RNA reads and align them to the genome, and then assemble the transcripts, or assemble the alignments into transcripts, utilizing a dual approach with Cyclass and StringTie2. The reference-based transcriptome is then frame-selected and filtered by Ignog protein homology, leaving us with our final gene model. The nucleotide and protein sequences are also aligned to the genome to generate hints for gene prediction improvement. The RNA-based gene models and genome are then used as input to Augustus, which provides and predicts alternative transcripts by leveraging a hidden Markov model. These predictions are enhanced and with the addition of protein and transcript hints um, and later merged into an unfiltered model. Doing so increases sensitivity, but at the expense of precision. So how do we increase precision? Well, we can filter transcripts based on a model training set and a list of features. We then run our unfiltered model through a random forest classifier and regressor. The classifier generates binary predictions about the presence or absence of translation initiation sites, and all predictions equal to zero are removed. The regressor, on the other hand, predicts F1, which is a continuous metric of quality. Everything under 80 is removed. Combined, both algorithms filter the structural annotation, maintaining sensitivity, but increasing precision. When working with model organisms, the F1 score will be the best indicator of annotation quality. However, the majority of individuals will be working with non-models. Uh, therefore, EASL outputs other metrics, including BUSCO score, model multi-ratio, and reciprocal BLAST to assess annotation quality. So how do we compare to other tools? Well, as you can see, Breaker 3 and Easel provide the best F1 scores at gene and transcript level with, when looking at Arabidopsis, Poplar, and Drosophila. And the filtered annotation is far better than the unfiltered. Helixer and StringTie do, do not fare as well, suggesting machine learning and RNA evidence together is necessary to produce the highest quality annotation. That, I would like to thank everybody who has worked on Easel with me. Um, if you're interested in running, please check out the GitLab um, and follow me on Twitter. Thank you.